Eh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. You ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, you. You're free to go. <laughs> Not really. But you've got a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job, and I don't lose my job. <laughs> See you around. Free to go. <laughs> hmm.
Wow. Uh, uh, Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored van, but suddenly he spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. OBJECTION! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then. What are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Take that! Is... is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! <laughs> As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now, you guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman,
escaping. Yo, check yourself. What the? You're back. Take that! What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try... This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman... Take that! What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try... This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman...
Yo, check yourself. What the? You don't count. Now the next time on you. Mayor, I hereby declare the Tunisian archaeological exhibit open. Yeah, thank you. Breach headed towards the medieval section. Uh, roger that. We're prepared to engage over. And after that, they just stopped and arrested him. Whoa, really? Yeah, that's when I decided I should probably get a different job. I figured night garden is much less dangerous than driving a- Crap. No, Johnny! Officer down, repeat! Officer down! Sir, place your hands where I can see them.
so apparently there's something in that cake, and uh, he used it to escape, and then I got fired. Pretty lame, huh? Yeah, I don't really like this uh, one. Please shut up. Oh, I just, I was, I was just trying to have a conversation. I just, I was, I was just trying to have a conversation. Ah! I just, I was, I just. Ah! I just, I was, I was just trying to have a conversation, you know, since. Uh, I gotta warn some. Sir, you might want to come look at this. I'm getting chaos readings at 10.6. It's coming from the museum. My god, it's over 9? Yeah, I'm leaving this decision up to you, Corporal. Just hit one of those buttons to deal with this pressing situation. Who's watching TV? Get back to work! Thank <laughs> you. 
the mayor. Falcon Pa Oh no, good company. And after that, they just up and arrested him. Whoa, really? Yeah.
Sir, place your hands where I can see them. If you do not comply, I will be forced to fire upon you. Eh? Bribery is a federal offense, sir. <laughs> sir, place your hands where I can see them. <laughs> sir, place your hands where I can see them. If you do not comply, I will be forced to fire upon you. You leave me no choice, sir. I just, I just, I just trying to have a conversation, you know, since, I mean, we're partners, so I just wanted to get, get to know each other a little bit, you know? I just kind of wanted to have a conversation. So, you know, just to lighten things up, I mean, what's gonna happen in a museum? I mean, really. You feel a draft at all? Hey! 